first step is after you shower, um, and again, we're not going to go into all of your specific shampoos right now because you know as well as I do, there's billions of them on the market. And we will get to that, but I also am not one to endorse a specific type of a product. That's really important to me. I think it's, we have to meet you where you are. So right now, you're meeting me after getting out of the shower. Yes, I decided I'd put my clothes on to spare both of us. But the first thing we're going to do is I want to teach you how to dry your hair. So when you walk out of the shower and you are dripping wet, the first thing I want you to do is take one, if you have a white cloth towel. Um, second, if you have a towel that is a microfiber towel, that's certainly terrific. But the first thing is, is what you want to remember is you want to flip your head upside down. Okay, and then you want to lay this towel on the top of your head and start squeezing out the excess moisture. Now, this actually provides two amazing benefits. The first is you have your head upside down, right? So you're creating stimulation and circulation in that blood flow. Secondly, you're drawing the hair from the roots. You are not just laying the towel on the top of your head and squeezing out the water. So we have to make sure that we're diligent and very intentional about what we're doing with our fine hair, right? So that is the number one step is get that towel dried hair correct and make sure that you towel dry at least 30% of that moisture out of the hair, okay? So that's where you're seeing where I am now. My hair is probably about 70% damp. And now the most important thing is, is now I need you to finish going ahead and getting ready. But if your hair is long and straight, I don't want you to just leave your hair hanging loose and down and damp on your head. I truly want you to pick up a few clips. So any clip will do, right? And if you want some volume on the top, let's clip that hair up. If you want some volume around the sides, then I want you to clip this hair up. And I want you to clip it up underneath the hair, okay? So what you're doing is you're creating volume at the roots. And you're also doing this and allowing the hair to start to dry in a very unnatural state, right? Which means it's up and off your scalp, which is the idea. So we're excited about these first two steps. We've taught you how to towel dry the hair. You know you want to make sure that you towel dry well. You want to also allow the hair to dry through the towel and with the towel for at least 30% of the way. Number one, no, no. Do not wrap your hair in a towel for more than a minute. That will cause friction, that will cause breakage, and that's the last thing we want on our fine, thin hair. So now where are we? Let's see, I think we're in step number three. And so then step number three is going to be grab your favorite clip, pop your hair up on top of your head, and if you're going to clip up in the back, do the same here, and then voila. Get ready, get your clothes on, um, get your makeup on if you're a female, shave if you're a guy, and then this hair now is close to 50% dry. With the blow dryer, we're gonna come back in this area and we're going to go ahead and then dry this root, making sure that you're moving the hair in the opposite direction that it wants to go. So do not dry it back down in the way that the hair normally falls, because then what's happening is you're finding that you're not creating that volume that you needed, right? So this is so important. And again, you notice I don't have the heat on the blow dryer on the blow torch set. I have it turned down lightly. And then what I'm going to continue to do is blow drying the hair in the opposite direction that I need it to flow. And then we'll create that volume on the top. And I have dry hair. So at the same time, I want you to realize that when we've dried this, we haven't over dried it. So there's plenty of sheen. It looks great. It feels soft. It doesn't feel dry. Um, and now it's time to dry the top. So the top should be almost 80% dry at this point, right? Because when we popped it up on top of our head, it was 70% dry. 
So now we're going to apply the same principles in making sure that we use that blow dryer down on that root and really make sure that we're drawing this area.